Good morning, you guys. We're officially back in Germany. Thankfully, it's not raining. It might start soon, but not raining yet. A bit cold, but not bad. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of rare to see like a lowered car these days, but there's one. We got home and, uh, should I show him? No. So I said it's probably gonna happen and, uh, <laughs> like casualty. <laughs> no, you oh, it worse. <laughs> it's bad. So I have two spare um wagon hatches one's bright blue one's dark blue i've been waiting for a uni black one to come to the junkyard but there hasn't been any but it's uh we knew this was gonna happen but it has happened sooner than we thought it's uh yeah it's it's bad <laughs> it's real bad but aside from the wagon falling apart there's a smudge on here for lunch that's better i had jordan stop by yay car parts so in this box here we have i would say 99 percent of the parts needed to rebuild the uh the v5 a few things i'm still missing like little like coolant hoses and stuff but other than that we have pretty much everything look at that exhaust manifold gasket valve cover gasket we have a new belt what's all this stuff this is my timing chain guides this is something what does that say i don't know Ooh, there's all my coal packs down there spark plugs we got tons of gaskets and oil filter all the things what's this big box oh it's probably the oil pan oil pan's probably in there we got this is the intake manifold gasket this is i think this is my rear main seal possibly i think there should be a water pump somewhere in there what else did i order i forget thermostat possibly yeah thermostat there's a coolant flange somewhere probably this box honestly lots of parts very exciting stuff so yeah this box here from the uh top brand brand is the coolant flange that also fit the thermostat and all kind of stuff inside of there and again time and change kit change it down there at the bottom this one is the water pump and these are pretty cool these are the hella coal packs nice little branding Right there, kind of cool. Hopefully these are a good brand for uh, coal packs of VR5. And then like I said, oil filter, thermostat, exhaust gasket, and then down here is the oil pan. And that's pretty much everything. Like I said, this is like 98% of the pieces here. We have to go pick up the coolant pipe from Ricky today as well. And that's, that's most of the stuff we need for the rebuild. I gotta say, it's so exciting finally having pieces for the VR5. That thing has sat for so long, trust me, I know. But finally, we're making moves. I'm so excited. I just wanna pull the pan out real fast and double check because some of the options for the vr5 some of the pans don't have the uh sensor port at the bottom and some do and i think i got the right one that's how fancy that is all that fancy baffling but yes wow. cool right one so you see there's a hole here some are just like flat plated over and don't have the spot with the sensor mine has a sensor so i was gonna try that is how fancy and you have the plug cool some didn't come with plugs it was kind of weird but new drain plug new pan all nice and shiny and it's the right one it has a little fancy baffling in it. Look at that. Full on race car. Oh, there's a hole there. Maybe like a freeze plug for that? Oh, no, it's this. Okay, I was like, wait, why is there a hole in my pan? Okay, no, we're good. We're fine. And then aside from those parts, I also ordered two cans of VHT Wrinkle Black right there and two cans of LB6T to do all the paint mat stuff. 
all the wrinkle black stuff and get everything looking nice and fresh in the engine. So I think the plan for today is gonna be after we meet up with Ricky and got the VR5 coolant pipe, I'm gonna go to the store, grab some gloss black engine paint and some degreaser and get the block fully clean and hopefully paint it today if it's not too cold. That way come later this week, we can slap all the parts on quickly and just knock it out of the park. And then come Wednesday, my wrinkle black will be here. We can knock this out and a few of the pieces in the engine bay and also the LB6 T for the engine manifold and the cover and that kind of stuff. And just moving right along, boys. So I'm gonna go meet Ricky in about an hour, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go through and start scraping away as much of this as I possibly can. Then once we get some degreaser, we'll spray the remaining bits out of there. Give you a quick little before, little build up there. This has a little bit dirty through this section. A little build up there, but overall, like this block is actually pretty clean. I don't have too much to do, which is nice. So it's definitely not perfect, but for just using this, uh, little scraper here and nothing else. I got a good amount of all the like the grime off it. Obviously once you use the degreaser and that kind of stuff and spray everything out, it'll be way better. But for the time being, not a bad little start. So for now we're done with the VR5. It is now time to go meet with Ricky, pick up the coolant and pipe. Now we've seen the photos that looked awesome in the pictures, but photos never do justice. So I cannot wait to see this thing in person. It's gonna look epic. The little launch show is fun, but it feels good to be back in the wagon it's kind of funny the clutch in lancia was so soft it actually makes one of my one six actually feel stiff like that's <laughs> that's hilarious Ooh, ricky brought out the corolla i think that's so sick what's going on man what up Ooh, brought out the corolla today everything got it let me see these things so how hard was it was it hard or is it not hard at all not hard at all so no. as i assumed i would have to take an inch and a half off of this take yeah. it out the middle lined up perfect dude like that looks so sick <laughs> absolutely killed it and then of course as we talked about it initially we thought this is aluminum right i thought i always thought it was aluminum they've always been referred to as aluminum crack pipes the vrs but yeah stainless steel you said it's stainless steel and so of course i went home i was like all right he said it's aluminum i'll try to weld it as if it's aluminum yeah no My shot original weld for aluminum so that's with the aluminum filler and it just yeah. did not no nah, nothing at didn't all. do anything so i was like let me look it up yeah with stainless they have different types so they have more nickel which makes it non uh magnetic okay i looked everything up i started welding it with uh what is it stainless steel wire yeah just fine perfect perfect yeah i saw the pictures like yo that thing came out absolutely beautiful <laughs> like it looked like they don't the exhaust like that cool yeah the, heat on the exhaust tips yeah Dude, it looks beautiful and like it looks like lengthwise it's perfect it really is. I thought I'm it was excited. gonna be a little off at first. I was like, yeah. let me make sure I'd like yeah. triple. Well, check. even if it was, I can still get a different hose to fit this section and go around. Yeah. But I said on the inside of the coin flange, there's a little bit of room to play still. But no, like honestly, you absolutely killed it. It looks amazing. <laughs> Thank um, you. It's gonna look so good on the engine. I have to do some painting on it today. But I like this seems like a centerpiece. I wish you could see it more <laughs> once it's on there, but like it looks so cool. Like I'm excited to see it the myself. Welds look sick. I'm excited to see it myself. So it wasn't too hard to do, pretty easy? Not at all. You have to teach me how to weld. I want to learn. I've never had a chance to learn. Really? I have some friends who weld, but like, I don't have a chance to actually try it. Is it hard to do or like, so it's a actually, lot of practice? It's practice. Okay. It's pretty much a hand motion. Yeah. Past that, it's easy, but I'm not going to like, the hand motion takes so much yeah. time to get because it's, um, you have to stay at a consistent place, keep the torch at the right angle. Okay. Yeah. And consistency. And so, it becomes so hard. So let me ask, was this TIG or MIG? This is TIG. TIG weld. Okay. Yeah. So the TIG one is when you have, you know, the torch in one hand, you feed the wire manually. Yeah. MIG one is pretty much you just have a gun and you just... Psh, psh, psh. Okay. So... Very cool. TIG welding, in my opinion, is more useful because you can weld aluminum, uh, steel, you can weld everything. Okay. Very cool. Uh, MIG one, you can do aluminum, but it's just not the same. I'll have to come by for the Ricky Crash course and <laughs> try and learn. Cause like, man, you did... I saw the pictures like, yo, that came out like... I imagine in my mind, like, this is like, it's beautiful. It looks like a piece <laughs> of art. It looks so sick now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You absolutely killed it. <laughs> I think it's so sick. It's so loud. People tell me that my car is loud and I'm gonna get in trouble. No, Ricky's car is so loud, but I love it. The pop-ups and all, that car is sick. All right, so unfortunately the BX was closed early today. So uh, no degreaser, no engine paint. I might have some spares for that to check and see, but either way, we got this and this thing. Now he absolutely killed it. 
If you're not already, check out his channel and his Instagram page. Like, my man killed it. I think this might be the first, like, metal crack pipe for a VR5, possibly. But this will go like this. Bam. Perfect fit. Oh, it's going to look so sick. You mean, you won't see it, but I don't know what's there. And I'm excited about it. Not that there's anything wrong with this one, but eventually plastic will crack, whereas this nice metal one shall not. So again, big shout out to Ricky. This thing is sick. Now, one thing I forgot to order was new gaskets for the actual crack pipe itself. These ones still look pretty new, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna order some new ones just to be on the safe side. So I was able to find three different cans of brake cleaner. Shout out to Cody. I got these from that box he gave me. So this should do, it's not a degreaser, but it should work. Mostly also have the compressed air, the blow out some dirt and like the tight spaces. Unfortunately, I don't have any extra engine paint. So wait till later in the week. It's also far too cold and it's raining. So no painting today, but I'll try and get the block as clean as I can. So it's not perfect, but for the first day's work cleaning, it looks pretty good so far. The block came out almost entirely clean, just with some brake cleaner and some compressed air. Not bad. There's a few spots still like underneath the crank down here I haven't got to yet, but this session is pretty much all good to go. All this is clean. I went through the wire brush and did a bunch of the valve cover and then some of the, uh, the cylinder head here. It's looking pretty good. I have a bit more to do up by where the oil cap is. How about I get a new seal so it's not leaking anymore? But she is looking pretty good. Just wait until everything's all painted. This is all fresh and black. A nice fresh coat of silver in here and the wrinkle black up here. Woo! This thing's gonna be looking insane. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm exhausted. Traveling makes me so tired. It's kind of crazy to think this morning we started our day in Italy and now we're back in my barn in Germany working on the VR5. Like I said, hope you're excited. All the parts showed up. Lots of progress that we made on this thing this week. Like I said before, progress feels good. This thing has been long overdue and I'm so glad we're finally getting to it. Also, I don't say this hardly ever, but if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. We just passed 24,000, which is crazy. We just hit 20K like last month, I think, and now we're almost to 25. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys do so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Doing just fine before I met you. I